Hey everybody, it's Brian with Team Aquascape, and I am sitting here in our studio in St. Charles slash Aqualand, USA. Usually if I'm here in the studio, it's because the season's just about over. And we just finished up that big Beloit job, didn't quite get it finished, but I started thinking about the most common question I get this time of year, and that is, what do we do all winter long? We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. Being a seasonal business, you would think that from December all the way till April, we just sit around and twiddle our thumbs, but it's not the case. In fact, since I can remember, all the way back when I started back in 1995, more often than not, the winters are busier than they are in the summer, which is hard to imagine because we are go, 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 go all summer long. Winter is the time where we use to service all of our vehicles, buy new vehicles, trade in vehicles, build new things, product test stuff, build projects out of state, out of the country. Yes, I have to go to Australia, Idaho, and I think I go to Australia twice. All kinds of different things. We also do all kinds of training seminars. So things like teaching you about better business practices, how to build, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So speaking of training, this year we have an enormous amount. We we have um, our Aquascape Academy. We have three of them. We have Greg and Chris Hans's standard class. We have Ed's um, advanced class. And we have mine, which is the first time ever design, because we've never really done a class all on design. Design, advanced estimating, advanced selling, which we'll go over in a second. And actually, let me back up. Like When I think of the very first training things we used to do, we used to do what we call build upon days, where 50, 60 contractors would meet up with shovels and wheelbarrows, and we would show them the steps by step process and how to build a pond. And we realized quickly that just teaching them how to build the pond was part of it, but the more important part of the business is actually running a successful business, not just the art of rock placement and everything else. So we were teaching all these contractors how to be great artists and how to actually dig the hole and put the rocks and build the waterfall and do the plumbing and everything else, but realized these contractors could go out of business. So we developed a class on really starting a water feature business. And this is what Greg Witt stock the pond guy and chris hans are going to be teaching you in the standard class so that it's a two-day class the first day you're going to get in our sandbox which is an amazing place and some of the most amazing creations have been accomplished back there from past artists of the year but you're going to go back there get to see where the artists of the year have built some of their magical creations and then you guys are going to build uh, i think it's like an 8 by 11 and 11 by 11 standard pond kit and get to go through the step-by-step -step process and how we build a pond in one day where you get to ask the questions, see the guys work. Awesome, awesome experience. We're renovating the sandbox and we're doing all kinds of stadium seating where you guys can be taking down notes, better sound, better angles, better PA, all that kind of stuff. It's also a very unique opportunity where you get to watch our crew build the project. Cause so many people out there, like there's no way you could build a pond in one day. We're gonna show you how with a four guy crew, when I say we, Chris Hansen and the rest of Team Aquascape are gonna show you how a four guy crew can build a pond in four hours. That's right, not a day, but in four hours. They're gonna show you how the fabric goes in, how the liner goes in, some tricks on excavation by hand, not with a machine, how to hook up the skimmer, how to hook up the biofalls, how to do the plumbing, how to set rocks in the pond, how we work as a team. And you guys just get to watch, watch, watch as Chris narrates four guys building that project. At the same time, you get to see kind of behind the scenes. What does our construction office look like? How do our trailers set up? How are our trucks set up? What kind of equipment do we have? It's a great first day. It's perfect for those guys that have a crew member that needs to kind of knock the dust off their boots. Maybe a great opportunity for you and your crew to enhance efficiencies and a great opportunity to ask questions. Hopefully you guys leave that first day with the motivation and experience and how to build a pond in one day. The second day, which to me is just as important, if not more important, is the day that Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, is taking over. He's gonna show you really the business side of everything, how to market, how to sell, how to maintain, how to motivate employees, 
full of stories and experiences and not just about you know us patting ourselves on the back, but all of the mistakes that we've made over the years and how we've learned from those mistakes so you guys don't have to make the same mistakes and learn from them. It's a great two day experience. It's great for any new beginner, even veterans that have employees that need to learn a little bit more, people that wanna brush up on some of their skills. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome two day event. So the next class is Ed Ballou's. Ed Ballou, the pond professor, is gonna be talking about advanced water feature construction, mythology, and philosophy. What does that mean? <laughs> I'll tell you. That means you better have been building a pond for more than a year, probably more than two years, because if you haven't been building a pond for a while, the things that he's gonna be talking about are gonna go right over your head. We're gonna be using terms like intake bays and wetland filters. I guarantee he's gonna say things like copepods and tardigrades and biomimicry and things like that. So you've gotta be ready. He is a science guy and he's gonna science the out of it. <laughs> yes, science! Make sure you've attended at least the standard class. You probably should have been building ponds for a couple years before you even think of wanting to join Ed's class. It is an awesome class though, because he's gonna be going over not just the philosophies and mythology of it all, but he's gonna be talking about how to scale out big projects, give you all the formulas and calculations, the stories and the experiences that he had, not just the good, but the bad too. And, and so you can use those stories to better serve your customers. So you feel more comfortable in front of a customer when talking about a large scale project. And I keep saying large scale, but maybe it's not just large, maybe the better terminology would be large and unique. Right? These aren't just big, giant commercial projects, but unique projects. So it's a great class. I've sat through it twice and both times, even after working with Ed for almost 30 years, my mind is just racing, racing, racing. And I guarantee yours is gonna be too. The goal of it is for you to leave that class more experienced, more comfortable, and full of motivation to go out there and tackle some of those bigger projects. So the last class is my class. And the reason I'm excited about it is because it's the first time we've ever done a class like this. We've been teaching, estimating, and selling for quite some time, and I'm pretty experienced with the selling side, really experienced with the estimating side, and getting pretty good at the design side of things because I've been doing it for so long, but we've never been able to share with you guys a class really focused on design, and so I'm so excited for the first time ever to be doing that with you guys. Hopefully you come and join that class. We're gonna be showing you really kind of the evolution of the water feature business and how it started with ponds and then it moved into poundless waterfalls and wetlands and intake bays and different techniques between secret waterfalls and doing prefab concrete walls inside of ponds and bringing all these things together to build some of the most epic water features you've ever seen. We're going to show some basic design. We're going to show some intermediate and then get into some advanced stuff. And then most importantly, how to sell this stuff. I want you guys to feel comfortable on how to sell these different types of features. It's one thing to design them. It's another Another thing to sell them, it's a third thing to make sure you estimate them correctly. So I wanted to make sure we go over all the estimating. The other thing we're gonna really, really spend a great deal of time with is the pre-qualifying. Cause to me, selling the job is pretty easy if you can pre-qualify your customer, get the budget out of the customer. How do I get the budget out of the customer? How do we get them to say, we've got 10,000 or we've got 100,000 or we got 200,000 or we've got a million dollars. Get in to share that stuff over the phone before you even go out there. How do we get $500 to $10,000 for design consultations? We're gonna share all that kind of stuff with you. Hopefully you leave my class with a whole lot of more design elements that you can put in your back pocket to do more creative things when you get out there next year building water features and then leave with a whole lot more confidence in how to estimate and sell these different things. You guys, I cannot wait to see you this winter, whether it's in Greg's class, whether it's in Ed's class, whether it's in my class, maybe it's all three. So your next question is probably Brian, Oh my gosh, I am so motivated to do these, but when can we do them? Well, let me tell you, I wrote them down right here. So Greg and Chris are gonna be doing their class January 15th through the 17th. Write it down, because that's right around the corner here. Then again in February, February 19th through the 21st, February 21st through the 23rd, and then the 26th through the 28th. So we'll have four different classes between January and February. Ed and I have a total of three classes. The first one following Greg's first class, which would be January 8th through the 12th. So Ed and I will always piggyback each other. <laughs> 
There's a mental picture for you. <laughs> so Edward's class will go first. He's gonna be doing his advanced stuff. Then I'm gonna follow up with my advanced design stuff. If you can come for both, I think it's a perfect way to spend the week. But the first week will be January 8th through the 12th. The next time we're gonna do it won't be until March 4th through the 8th. And then for those of you that need a nice long vacation and don't mind spending 20 hours on an airplane, come see us in Australia where the first time ever we're gonna be sharing this all the way as far as we can possibly go out in Australia where we'll be doing that March 18th through the 22nd. You know you want to come to Australia. Yeah, I'd love to see you guys out in Australia. It'd be so awesome to represent the U.S. out there amongst all the Aussies. It's going to be a fun, fun trip. So you guys, we've got a full packed winter of education plus all kinds of other stuff. It's gonna be great to share with you exactly what we do all winter long. You guys have a great day. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends, come to some of these classes and we'll see you soon.